Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. So this is the time to reveal the results for the quiz contest which was conducted on 1st of March 2021. Yes, this environmental science quiz is conducted every week on Monday to prepare ourselves for the environmental science entrance examinations and to know about our environment. So those who don't know the rules for this quiz contest, you can pause this video and go through all these rules and participate in the next time. So let's discuss the questions first. So the first question was the thermal stratification of the aquatic ecosystem takes place in which of the following place and here the correct option will be the thermal stratification of aquatic ecosystem takes place in case of temperate lakes so it is not present in each and every lakes so in the temperate region the lakes are having the thermal stratification so thermal stratification means thermal means temperature so as per the temperature there is the stratification or strata that is layers in the lakes so you can see in this picture that the upper part is the warm water so it is called as epilimnion and then followed by the thermocline layer where the rapid temperature change is seen which is one of the frequently asked question in the net examination and finally the bottom layer is having the cold water so as per the temperature thermal pattern it is called as hypolimnion so it is the cold part of the lake so these are important kindly note it down so let's move to the second question the second question was the scale length of the pressure variations in the atmosphere in the vertical direction is about how much kilometer and here the correct option will be the scale length for the pressure variation in our atmosphere is till 7 kilometer which is very very prominent. So let's move to the next question. The next question was which radioactive element is considered as an indoor pollutant and here you can note it down that carbon monoxide is also noted down as the indoor pollutant but here it was asking radioactive so the correct option will be radon so radon is considered as the radioactive element which is coming under indoor pollutant and if you want to know about the indoor pollutant the other examples are carbon monoxide as i said along with asbestos formaldehyde which are formed from the pressed wood products so these are some of the indoor pollutant which are important to note it down let's move to the next question the next question is in a closed thermodynamic system across its boundary which of the following is possible and here the correct option will be option number c yes transfer of heat and work is possible in a closed thermodynamical system but one thing is not possible that is the transfer of matter cannot be exchanged but heat and work is possible so this is also important so let's move to the fifth question the fifth question is among the following heavy metals which has the highest concentration in our earth crust. So here many of you were confused and the correct option would be option number A. Chromium among these four heavy metals is having the highest concentration in the earth crust but technically if you want to know which are the elements which are having their maximum concentration in the earth crust you can see in this picture that the maximum composition is by oxygen followed by silicon, aluminium, iron, magnesium and calcium. So it is also one of the frequent last questions. Note down these things and the composition. Let's move to the sixth question. The sixth question was the basic one. The composition wise, the halons are related to which of the following? So you should note it down that halons are actually the compounds which are having three things that are they can be haloalkane, they can be halomethane and other halogen compounds. So main important thing is they should be having the halogen. So halogens are fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine and astatine. So here composition wise these halons are related to CFC. So CFC means chlorofluorocarbon we all know they will be having chlorine, they will be having fluorine and as well as they will be having the carbon. So that's what makes chlorofluorocarbon. Here in this picture you can see there are varieties of halons given and if you mark on the halon 122 it is also having chlorine fluorine as well as the carbon so it is related to the CFC's composition similarly halon 242 is also having the same thing that is C2Cl2F4 which is having the elements that are chlorine fluorine and carbon so that's why composition wise halons are related to CFC's let's move to the next question the next question was which of the following gases has the highest absorption coefficient for the solubility in water and here the correct option will be option number b that is carbon dioxide is having the highest coefficient of solubility absorption coefficient as compared to all these gases so let's move to the next question 
The next question was a very easy numerical. So the question was quantity of glucose with the molecular weight of glucose given as 180 required to prepare 1000 ml of 5% solution is how much? It is very simple. It is only simple maths. So how to solve this? It is asking 5% just we have to find the 5% of 1000 ml. So 5% of 1000 ml will be 50. So 50 gram of glucose is required to make 5% solution of 1000 ml solution. So no need of molecular weight, no need of moles or anything. If your concept is clear, you will be able to write down the answer correctly. Let's move to the next question. The next question was very simple. The question was niche of an organism is its word. And here the niche of an organism is determining its profession. So inside that everything will be coming address range location distribution and what work or what characteristic it is having let's move to the final question the 10th question was which of the following is the in situ biodiversity conservation site so in situ means on that site on that particular area where the species are present so here the correct option will be option number b biosphere reserve are the example of in situ biodiversity conservation site and you should know inside the biosphere reserve the national parks are present so you should note down and what is arboretum you should know arboretum are the specific kind of botanical garden which are related to the trees only so here specifically it is dedicated for the trees that are arboretum and in botanical garden you can have specifically for flowers tea trees plants lianas everything similarly orchidarium are the place or the botanical garden specifically for the orchids to grow them so they are the specific kind of botanical garden for the orchids and herbarium you must be knowing they are the preservation for the plants and the plant parts for the study so now it's time to reveal the name of the winner and the winner is Shivani Jain. So congratulations to Shivani for securing 10 out of 10 marks and along with Shivani other participants have also done well. They are Barkha Bist, Bhavik Bagia, Dipanshi Rajput, Usha Jagadish, Samriddhi Malviya, Khadija Samrin, Deepsika Gupta, Neha Singh, Agritech SKS, Alka Jain, Diksha Pandey, Samriddhi Malviya, Diksha Kumari, Priya Bharadwaj, Soha Wani, Somen Jana Akanksha Re, Shalini Satya Fatima Muhammad, Dipali Gita Sharma, Beauty Tiwari Tashkin Khan and Priyanka Suren. So congratulations to all of you. Keep up the good work. So these marks doesn't matter. You have to perform and compete with your own self. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe the channel to get further updates. So see you guys in our next video.